Hey everybody, Brandon Swanson here along with, whoa, how about that? Who's this guy? I have no idea. Oh, it's Sean Anderson. What's up? Now I know who you are. <laughs> Brandon Swanson with Sean Anderson and his new glasses. He just got them today, folks, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying them out. Make, make sure you comment on me. He looks sophisticated. Do I? You do. Yeah. You absolutely do. Well, that's not why we're here to talk about no. Sean, but we could if we wanted to. Philadelphia, Washington. A division game right here, Philadelphia, with its first loss this last week. And give some keys. Who do you think's winning this one? Well, Carson Wentz finally looks human, throwing the uh, game losing interception. I mean, it wasn't really his fault that game. You know, the Eagles weren't weren't great defensively. It wasn't his fault. You know that that he 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 lost the, the Eagles lost their first game. But Carson Wentz finally sh showing that he is human, throwing his first interception to Darius Slay. I think for the Eagles, it's just getting that defense back around Carson Wentz because he's still a rookie. I mean, people kind of forgot that after how well he did play. He's still a rookie. He's still going to need help and the defense really did help him in those first three games not saying that Carson Wentz didn't play phenomenally but still this defense does need to help him and rally around him because he is still a rookie quarterback so I think if the defense could step up and stop a little bit of that pushback from Matt Jones and a little bit of that pushback from Kirk Cousins I think that the Eagles will end up winning this game just because this this defense is working at all cylinders Carson Wentz is going to have more confidence and that's really the key for rookie quarterbacks is confidence in yourself and then the key for the Redskins will be to get Matt Jones going because if Matt Jones is going that's going to open up the passing lanes for Kirk Cousins and you're really going to need that because Matthew Stafford threw the ball uh, pretty efficiently down the field against the Eagles last week so then you know Kirk Cousins isn't the same quarterback as Matthew Stafford I, I would say Matthew Stafford's a better quarterback here so Kirk Cousins is going to need more space to work with if they're stacking the box Kirk Cousins is going to be able to need to beat this Eagles defense and I think that if the Eagles are able to deal with the Redskins' offense attack, and that's going to lead to Kirk Cousins, or, or I'm sorry, Carson Wentz being able to attack this Redskins defense, and that will probably ultimately lead to an Eagles win. But if the Redskins are able to pressure Carson Wentz, and then uh, they're able to run the ball efficiently on the offensive side, I will, I will give the wins to the Redskins. But ultimately, I will take the Eagles in a close one. I will take them 24 to 21. I think Carson Wentz uh, leads the Eagles down the field in the last drive, and then uh, the kicker kicks it home. Well, folks, if you were listening closely enough, Sean picked actually both teams to win. <laughs> But he picked the Eagles in the end. I said how but they, they could win. <laughs> are going to win this week. So, folks, it's not what we're it's in like. for an interesting game <laughs> between the Eagles and the Redskins. When was the last tie in the NFL? Was it last year? Was it? It was recent. Okay. It was Wasn't recent. Was it Donovan McNabb? No. Okay. No. It was, it was recent, I believe. Okay. All right. Could be lying. Who knows? Who knows? Anywho, well, Sean is picking someone to win this game. I already the Eagles. forgot who the it Eagles. is. Oh, the Eagles. Well, folks, make sure you like this video if you haven't. If you have not, and, and I find it hard to believe if you have not, become a subscriber for MVP. Go and do it right now. Go and do it right now. Make sure Just you comment. Scroll down. Make sure you comment down below in the comment section. Let us know what you think. And. If you want us to give you a little bit more each and every month, we're going to need to get a little bit more from you each and every month to help us help you. So, folks, that's what we're going to have to do. Go to our Patreon page. Become a patron right now. Real simple, real easy, real painless. Just give us a little money. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.